Hey guys, how's it going? Zach here from Skybreed Discs. Here to give you another review today. This one is going to be on the new MVP Neutron Zenith. This is the third mold from James Conrad. It is a distance driver coming in at 11.5, negative 0.52. It's fairly flat. Um, you can see here, this is the special edition version. It's got a pretty cool stamp. Um, but yeah, as far as the profile goes, they're really flat. I'm excited to give them a try. Uh, I've got a nice, similar to any other Neutron, nice gummy feel. Uh, it got a little bit of pliability. Um, the rim's not real sharp. I noticed that in comparison to the Photon, this rim has, it's a little bit more rounded. It's not quite as sharp. Um, it feels quite a bit nicer in the hand. It's uh, got a fairly low profile while still being deep enough to where it's rather comfortable. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw this a few times and let you guys know what I think. It's a Zenith. So after throwing this, um, I'm a really big fan of it. Uh, love how flat it is. Love the way it feels in the hand. Um, I can really put some torque on it. And it doesn't feel uncomfortable in any way. It feels just like any of my go-to discs. Um, that rim is super smooth. Um, it not being so sharp allows it to actually rest in my knuckle a little bit better. Um, I can get a nice strong grip of it. It doesn't really feel uh, like it's putting any pre unnecessary pressure on any parts of my hand. Um, as far as the flight goes, this thing is buttery. Uh, when I throw it hard, I'll get a little bit of flip up. If I'm throwing it hard and flat, I'll get some turn towards the end, but it's subtle turn and then it just maintains a straight path and starts fading reliably every time. Um, if I throw it on an Anheuser, it'll actually hold that Anheuser quite a bit, but it always seems to fade out. I haven't really put it on a, you know, a real sharp Anheuser angle, but every one that I've thrown on, on a turnover angle um, has always had a little bit of fade towards the end. If it hasn't laid flat and kind of slid up, it's actually faded pretty hard back. And on a Heiser, this thing will flip up a little bit, but it'll still maintain the Heiser the entire way. Um, I'm a really big fan of this so far. Uh, before this, I'd been throwing the Neutron uh, Photon quite a bit and the Fission Photon. And as far as those go, when I throw those on an Anheuser, they seem to hold it quite a bit more. And actually the Photon, both of mine that I threw, um, would always maintain that angle and just kind of slide in flat. They never wanted to really fade back. Um, and if I threw it pretty hard on a Heiser, I'd get a nice flip up to flat. Sometimes even a little, op they'd open up a little bit and then come back in. Um, and releasing flat, I would get a nice big turn and full flight. Uh, these are definitely a little bit more stable than the Photons. They have a little bit less turn and the fade seems to want to happen faster. Now the Photon releasing flat has more fade, but this one has more reliable fade. It's going to uh, kick in sooner and it, and it really will finish. Whereas the Photon, if it isn't in the air long enough for it to stop turning, then it won't ever fade back where I feel like this thing will always fade back. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, this is probably going to go in my bag. It's a really solid distance driver. That's uh, a speed and stability that I've kind of been uh, lacking in my bag. And I think it's something that I can really work and manage with. Uh, it's got a, I've got a lot of control at longer distances with it. That's what I really like about it. So uh, if you want to get one of these, check them out at skybreed-disc.com. It's the James Conrad Neutron Zenith from MVP. 
Um, if you like these reviews or if you want to see us review anything else, go ahead and comment below. Um, let us know what you want us to review or if you want any insights on any other products. It doesn't have to just be discs. Uh, feel free to leave a comment and uh, we'll get back with you. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps if you like our content. It'll help uh, to support us and help us to continue to put some cool stuff out there. Thanks a lot.